Hey gang, I've got another video for you here. It's the process of painting Stan Lee in Procreate. This is my first uh, intro or anything in our new studio space at the Timber co-working space in Edmonton. I apologize for the echo. It's a big, tall ceiling. We haven't put up any uh, sound barrier equipment yet, but I hope you enjoy the video. I talk a little bit about the process and show you some of the tricks that I use in the digital tool to help myself get things correct. I'm still growing as my in my abilities to see, and uh, digital tools are great. So, hope you enjoy the video, and I will see you later. Well, I thought I would share this portrait with you guys. As many of you know, Stan Lee has passed away, and I thought uh, with seeing all the other artists that have done their own takes on him and uh, showing their appreciation for everything he's done for popular culture and media, thought I would do the same. So I painted this portrait in Procreate on my Apple uh, iPad Pro and I've been really enjoying using the iPad Pro um, and as you'll see in this video I'm still uh, leaning on digital technologies as I do these portraits. I am getting more comfortable with the approach that I'm taking to these portraits but I am definitely still relying on shortcuts or I guess benefits of the tools to help myself. I have still a lot of learning to do and a lot of growing to do in, a, in my ability to see properly. As you see here, I drew over top of the photo that I was using as reference and then I placed that drawing over top of my painting which revealed some errors and then I went ahead and fixed those quickly. Uh, and then from there I continued to paint the piece. And this is a practice that I've been doing, I guess, for a while in my portraiture. If I feel like something's not quite right, rather than banging my head against the wall and whittling away and whittling away, I've decided to just sort of give myself a bit of a grace and a bit of a, uh, a leg up using the medium. I figure, why not? Uh, these are some of the tricks of being a professional illustrator as you rely on and you lean on technology to help you get stuff done quicker more quickly and expediently. Now, of course, this is a piece that I did as more of a, a personal piece, so it's not like I'm needing to get these done quickly and out so that I can make an income off of them. Although I did, I did have someone express to me that they thought this would be a nice piece to potentially sell as a print, and maybe I'll do that. I'm working on a few other portraits right now, too, that I might do the same with. You'll see here, I, I keep that drawing and I reference back to it a few times th throughout the process in order to help myself continue to see if I've got things in the right place. And thankfully, uh, there was a lot of times during the process after I had corrected things the first time that things looked correct. Anyways, um, I was just kind of reflecting on Stan Lee's legacy and everything that he'd done for popular culture and media. And I'm just amazed at the work that the man did. Uh, and the effect that uh, his stories and his creations have had on popular media and on our Western culture in general is just really massive and impressive. And I'm kind of uh, thankful for it. I know it impacted my own creative journey and the things that I've taken interest in uh, in my journey as a creative person. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this portrait. I hope that you get something out of it. And... Uh, I hope that uh, you guys have fun doing your creative work out there, whatever you're working on. Until next time, you guys be good to each other. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to see more content, please click one of the videos on the screen. If you'd like to be notified when all my videos go up, please click the bell icon. And if you'd like to follow me on social medias, you can find me on patreon.com slash Corey Lansdell. I'm at Corey Lansdell on Twitter and Instagram, and you can find me on Facebook as well. Until next time, you guys, be good to each other.